she might linger longer. Her eyes as white as blue. Who goes there? A prayer for the son of my warrior soul. A child born from darkness must take scent of his blood. Who's there? Are you referring to me? So much to accomplish. I still have so much left that needs doing. lost. We need to leave. And now! No. There's time. I can save him. That's the enemy coming! The orders are to evacuate the hospital! <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. It never got easy. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. The sun is high. I cannot leave now. The sun is high. I cannot leave now. So be it. Rational thinking only.
This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. belong to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. Where is it? It's closed. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Here's the leech. My head's spinning. It's locked, all right. Clever fucking beast. I cannot enter. I'm still in Southwark. I must reach the West Over End. There! There's one of them vermin! Die, vermin! <laughs> of my body.
feel like a child learning the limits of my body. My poor sister. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. This is despicable. I have this thirst for blood. I cannot enter. The dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. I can't believe I'm doing this. What will London have to say to me? It's locked, all right. I have so many questions unanswered. streets of London become a mausoleum. The man has been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Fresh blood. The smell is so... Something dire must have come about. Where has everyone gone? According to the blood patterns, that's where the victim was attacked. So that must be the killer's trail. That's strange. The trail is very erratic, as if the killer was drunk or hesitant. At last, a little life. Welcome, sir, to the Turquoise Turtle. <coughs> Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. 
I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bottle, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Who is this sewer dog? It's the local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone. Blame the sewer dog, eh? You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. I'll leave you to your bottle then. Whoever he may be, long enough to see them the working. killer recently entered this... Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom, then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just I've other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, I'd best check on them. What is this place? This is Tom's Bar, a turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina, if you want to know. You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Well, most people are sleeping right now. And those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. Tom thought that people may need a safe place to stay. I'll leave then. Thank you. They didn't deserve this. There's got to be something can be done to get out of this bullshit mess. No? I hope I live long enough to see them wet boots. Oh, God, sir. Dead. You look like Jonah's whale. Just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Well, oh, grab a chair and get some rest. This is going to be another long night. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, sir... Uh, yes? No funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. Not long ago, this sort of mess would have given me a laugh. I'm 
I hope I live long enough to see them wet boot boys get what's coming to them. This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire. <clears throat> Who are you? I, I mean you no harm, saith the vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. Would... Anyone... Oh. Oh. Well, that's something I can do for you. And who might you be? I'm not sure that I know anymore. Might I at least learn the reason of your presence? That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire. Like you. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here, too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I'll end him. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. I cannot enter. Can be done to get out of this. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. Thank you. 
me a laugh. <coughs> it's locked. Poor Jack. He Damn didn't it. deserve this. I think drink no longer stirs me. <coughs> Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. It's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the Cannon Factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. I hope I live Hello, long sir. enough to see them wet boots. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. I'll leave you to your bottle then. I think I'm Welcome back. Way. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. <laughs> Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong, now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? No. I hope I live long enough to see them wet boot boys get what's coming to them. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me, to this city. The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. What's this? Some sort of note. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge.
Over there! job and that's to find it and find it fast Fair enough, Tom. but why do they hide where it's so damn cold it's locked all right Last warning, sir! We won't see any of these bastards back here again! Sir, step away! Don't come close- Over there! There's one of them vermin! <coughs> Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. This place reeks of bloodshed. As 
one, we shall overcome this. We've done it before. No. I had a drink outside tonight already, and it did not quench my thirst. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well. Another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. <sighs> Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by scowl? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat, and we can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes. Go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. 